And finally tonight, the story of one New Jersey kid who's living out his dream. In the span of nine years, Noah Eagle went from delivering the morning announcement at his Essex County High School to giving the primetime play-by-play for the NFL. The son of famed basketball and football announcer Ian Eagle recently got the chance to be the voice of the Eagles-Packers game in Brazil. And as Ted Goldberg tells us, he's one of the fastest rising announcers in network sports. A decade ago, Noah Eagle was the voice of the morning announcements here at West Essex High School. A few more people can hear him now, as Eagle's booming career in broadcasting has seen him become the voice of Team USA basketball in the Paris Olympics and the NFL. He recently spoke with me after getting back from Brazil, where he provided play-by-play -play for the NFL's first game there. When we were talking to the players and coaches, I felt like they put it best, and they said this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It had never been done before. There had never been a game there. And so to see the, the support that exists already for the NFL in Brazil was pretty remarkable. You know, the NFL estimates that they've got about 36 million fans in that country alone and i think you could feel it you know there were jerseys not necessarily just to the two teams that we saw but we saw a bunch of tom brady jerseys but it was cool to see it up close and personal and i think it's something that the nfl is certainly going to capitalize on moving forward new york to brazil is a bit of a schlep was it a business <laughs> trip was it a business trip for you or were you able to see some cool stuff while you were down there that yeah, was definitely a business trip and it was probably a trip that sparked an interest in maybe going back one day on a personal level but generally with these trips you know i get asked this all the time where i get to go to you name the place and they go well did you get to explore well no 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 i was i was still working you know and even if i'm not at the stadium i'm getting ready to go to the stadium in many ways whether it's taking notes whether it's learning about players whether it's reading articles watching videos were you able to get some good local food out there i don't know if you're more of a room service kind of guy <laughs> yeah, I would say, you know, it was it was mostly that, but the food was great. I could say that the steak was was off the charts, which is expected when you get to Brazil, but they do a number of things well. There's the specific Brazil cheese bread that I don't even know how to pronounce or or, or the correct name if we're being honest. Eagle heard concerns about safety in Sao Paulo, a city with more than 11 million people. While some of the players were worried, the New Jersey native told me he wasn't. Anytime you have a condensed area with a lot of people, naturally there's going to be some level of danger, some level of concern. But I think that so long as you are aware, and that's what we were, and so and certainly the players, once they got there, it sounds like they did the same, you could absolutely function that way. It was not like it was a non-function area. And so I think that it was probably blown out of proportion a little bit. When we got to Paris, and I did done two trips there this past summer, one for the French Open and one for the Olympics. We were told the same thing. Don't walk around with your phone out like this. You're going to showcase you're a tourist. Don't look lost this way or that way. Not surprisingly, Noah spoke with his father about the trip. Fellow broadcaster Ian Eagle, the voice of the Brooklyn Nets and a very proud papa. He was thrilled, obviously. He always loves to, to just talk it through but more so we just talk about life and and how the other side of it was how the trip was how much fun we had what we enjoyed what we did all that type of stuff so yeah we, we talked about the game and he watched from Cincinnati where he was for his week one game and uh, I think he enjoyed it he enjoyed the fact that it was a fun game and another milestone for a fast riser from New Jersey in the world of sports broadcasting for NJ Spotlight News I'm Ted Goldberg.